Hi, so today, today was better than yesterday because yesterday, uh, uh, I'll call it, there was a bout of, uh, what's the word, mental asthma, like mental asthma and, and like a, a mental obsessive compulsive behavior and I guess it's going to be a process until I eventually uh, not allow these negative moods to, to take control. And what do we have? Um, well, for the past few days, I've been exploring the word certainty and how I can live that as a matter of breathing, like as natural and unforced and genuine like my breathing and what have I noticed about certainty? I noticed that a lot of the problems that I call problems on my end in terms of moods, in terms of behavior, in terms of back chat is I see how my back chat, my thoughts, sometimes my words too, are how, how deliberate I am within those things to create friction and conflict against what is most practical or what would be practical. And it's funny that I say that because I often observe, like in the past and even now to this day, I would observe my mom. Uh, you know, when, when my mom is in a bad mood, she just goes out alone and always comes back with some stuff, with some stuff that she bought that is practical, that will be used and it reminds me of a memory where I would always observe my mom doing what needs to be done as like the practical things and and like channeling her 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 spite maybe her anger her stress she would channel it into these doings that would be practical, that would help the house, that would help the family. And in my deliberate friction and conflict point, I used to interpret this observation rather, uh, I used to judge uh, the will that my mom was imprinting onto me as like the rules, as like rules that cannot and should not be broken. And for a while I thought of my mom as like this fisherman like, or fisherwoman that would cast out a net and her net would be the rules that she demonstrated that should not be crossed. And I would imagine myself as like the wild fish in the sea, wanting my freedom, but being, being caught by the net sort of deal. And What does this have to do with certainty? 
there's like an opposite meaning to certainty in terms of the certainty that my mind will always default to the worst state of mood of being and for some reason for whatever reason the mind really is very picky and particular about channeling itself through the weaknesses and finding cracks in your armor to to create more friction and conflict in every sense of the word at every level personal interpersonal system level and yeah what else certainty um right there's like it's like I'm it's like there's a certainty that the mind will magnify weaknesses and like amplify them as if to show to me hey you're weak over here strengthen your weakness and and this attitude towards my own mind in terms of being constructive about it uh I would have done a lot better if I if I adopted this friendship approach to my mind sooner in terms of not seeing the mind as an enemy or a nemesis that I must defeat but rather uh, see the mind as like a training ground it really is a training ground from the conscious thoughts that come up and you stop them and you delete them to the subconscious personalities where you where the mind teaches you how the mind works how personalities are justified how they are reasoned how they are logical and the unconscious system world relationships in terms of what I assume when I act in a certain way and what I expect of the world in terms of the many potential dangers that can be dangerous and that sort of thing and what else can be taken from certainty um, Certainty is not really an ideal that you place above yourself and then you're constantly chasing after it. Certainty is learning how to be specific about what you feel, what you think, and piece, piece the whole plot, piece, piece the whole storyline and to to basically practice the principles of equality and oneness i mean equality and oneness has to start in the small right it has to start with being equal to your own thoughts and one with them in a way being there for yourself for eternity until you understand that it's not necessary to think that way. I mean, that is the sort of commitment, that is the sort of training the mind provides as like a perfect, perfect teaching environment that from within and, and can be seen in the reflections without. It's like the whole world is my mirror reflection of what's within and when you take it when you take the mind like that um, it's kind of unnecessary you, f you realize that it's unnecessary to 
be angry or be fearful or, or those sort of things towards your own mind. So yeah, that's all I have on certainty. Thanks. Bye.